BJD Addicts, this is Spore, and today I am responding to BJD Addicts challenge number one, which is to show a video of you doing something with your dolls that your dolls like. And first of all, I just wanted to say that I think the idea of challenge is really awesome, and I hope that the challenges get really crazy as time goes on. So just for this first one, um, I have both my dolls back there, and both of them have very different personalities. Um, my little blonde Maddie, um, she's a child genius, so she loves doing research and school and reading um, nonfiction. Um, and Nora is more uh, like a quiet girl who likes reading and writing. Um, she's good at drama, but she's too shy to kind of do it uh, in front of people. So, for a compromise, since I decided they both do like reading, so I thought I would read a story with them. And the story I've chosen today is called Giraffes, Giraffes by Dr. and Mr. Doris Hagson Way. It is part of the Hagason Way World of Unbelievable Brilliance books, the HOW book series. Um, and this book in particular is about the origin of giraffes and just all kinds of good, lovely facts about giraffes. So I'm going to start reading to my girls about the origin of giraffes. So here we go. Giraffes first came to this planet nearly 500,000 years ago, on a conveyor belt. No one is sure where the conveyor belt came from, because the pieces of the conveyor belt recovered by, for scientific study in 1973 in Middleton, New Jersey, are being hidden from the authors, Dr. and Mr. Hagson Way, by governmental stooges. The authors, however, know that this conveyor existed, because they have a very good hunch about it. The conveyor is believed by the authors, one of whom is a trained scientist, to have originated in, on Neptune. This is the opinion of the authors because most scientists believe Neptune, because of its unique gaseous makeup and its green color, is the most likely planet to be inhabited by giraffes who build conveyors. Now, here's a very nice graphic image of giraffes coming down to the Earth on conveyors, along with some charts. What's that, Maddie? Maddie says that this book is not a work of nonfiction and that the giraffe things are not true. So I'm going to go on to the next page and maybe she'll change her opinion. What are giraffes made of? Giraffes necks are actually made out of paper mache, which accounts for the drastically different lengths and sizes. Has anyone ever told you you have a giraffe's tail and you wondered what that meant? The explanation will amuse you. Inside the tail of every giraffe is a highly sophisticated clock that lets him or her know the exact time. Now, next time you wake up early without an alarm and your mother says, you have a giraffe's tail, you can thank her, knowing that she's complimenting you on your internal clock. The legs of giraffes are filled with various types of fruit juice. You see, giraffes love drinking fruit juices, pineapple, boysenberry, mango, lemon, but their bodies have no real use for fruit juice, so it all trickles down to their legs, where it stays and squishes around. This should have been obvious to you. The hooves of giraffes are fashioned with a super strong lightweight titanium alloy. That's what makes their hooves so fierce looking, yet soothing at the same time. And here's a nice photo of the clockwork inside of giraffes. Now I'm going to stop there for now because that's re quite enough reading for you guys today and you can sit and absorb all of that. What's that girls? Both of my girls are trying to tell me that what I'm reading is n is complete baloney. Now I'll have them know that there's more books in this series. The second book, Your Disgusting Head, which tells about all the insides, all the disgusting things inside your head, I don't own. However, I do have Animals of the Ocean, in particular the giant squid. Do you like this, Maddie? Maddie doesn't particularly like this book because she has a major fear of the ocean and what is underneath it because of all her research she knows that there's a lot of really creepy things in, under the ocean that we've not discovered. So she's told me please to take this book away. I also have this book on cold fusion which is quite exciting I'm sure. 
and all of these books are available to you from the Hagesan Way World of Unbelievable Brilliance, which is complete and 100% true, of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm going to stop there, I guess. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this challenge and you enjoyed the books as much as my girls did, I think. I look forward to the next challenge where I do something that's even more ridiculous than reading crazy books about giraffes. Yeah!